Hello everyone. So today I'm gonna go through a photography tip on how to create your own identity in photography. So this is my agenda for today. So first I will go through why identity is important for photography, and then I will go through how do I create my own identity for my Instagram feed or for my photography in general, and. What、uh, the last one is?、Uh, what do you need to do to build your unique style, your own identity? So why identity is needed?、Uh, I use the NBA analogy as an example. So, like if you see, watch the champion last year, the Warriors has an identity.、Uh, when you talk about Warrior, people thought of like fast break, and then they have three three point shooting. So. It just、uh, when you mention the name, people just、uh, think about certain、uh, skills that they have. It just、uh, for the sports,、uh, they just、uh, thought about defense in in our heads. Like when you thought about sports, it had they have their own identity for defense. So in photography standpoint,、um, yeah, it has the same、uh, similar approach because for NBA,、uh, if you have an identity. More players,、uh, more potential free agents、uh, will be attracted to your team because、uh, they they will know what to expect、uh, when they play for that team. The same thing happened to photography. If you have a certain style or certain identity for your photography,、uh, more people、uh, that you like you will be attracted to for your business or to collaborate with you because、uh, they will know that、uh, certain、uh, expects certain result. The consistent result will be、um, have one, once they shoot with you. So that's why、uh, creating an identity for your photography style is、uh, important. And I will uh, first uh, how how did I create my own、uh, identity? So first of all, I just did a, a brainstorm, wrote down、uh, what I like in general in photography, and. When I first started photography, I didn't know what I like, so I shot、um, most like landscape, flowers, a little bit of everything. But、um, later on, I have to write it down. So what?、Uh, just summarize what I like. So I like bouquet, like bouquet lizards. I even even had the T-shirt bouquet lizards. And thanks Kai、uh, from the YouTube because I I was influenced by him because I. Knew this bouquet will started from the digital rev TV. So anyway, I like sunlight, the feeling of sunset. So I I wrote down I like sunlight, and anything that backlight I like.、Uh, that's why I, you 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 will see a lot of like picture in my feed that has a lot of backlighting.、Um, I will do a tutorial for that later on. I have marked it down also. So many of you have asked me to do a tutorial like that, and. I like moody feeling in a portrait. So I like moody、uh, expression from the model. So this is one of my uh, preference. Uh, and I like leading lines. So any brick walls that create a leading lines or close、uh, very very narrow alley alleyways. Or I use a prism to reflect more line lines、uh, for the composition. So I like those. And then I like hair flips. I, I like a lot of hair flips. I use the 56 1.2、uh, in the Fuji frame to create hair flip, and also I like vibrant color of flowers. So I like very vib vibrant、uh, flowers,、um, like even the outfit that has a vi vibrant flowers or flowers、uh, environment. So all these things I write, I wrote, wrote it down just for brainstorming. You can do the same thing, like you wrote down what do you like. Maybe you like more moody stuff, and you like、uh, like hair flip also. So you can just write down a couple of things that you like. And based on my experience, I I conclude like summarize these photography elements that are in my photos. So for example, composition, lighting,、uh, lighting is kind of like sunlight,、uh, movement, movement like the hair move moving. I like. To use some、uh, wind to help. Sometimes there are, there are some wind. It helps like moving the hair around, or just just the model just turning around and then moving the outfit.、Uh, it creates some nice motion. And props, props kind of like、um, I 
uh, last two uh, two weeks ago I had the shoot I had the prop using the sunflower as a prop hair flip tones tones I use uh, a lot of uh, E5 uh, for the visco cam to create nice tone and color and mood is the expression that I mentioned pattern pattern can be brick wall pattern or background pattern that repetitive pattern or the pattern that um, from the shadow the shadow pattern background and bokeh so these are the um, the one that I summarized just to help you to visualize uh, to understanding what I like so I combine I just uh, categorize uh, place them into the list in my brainstorming so I like bokeh and then I like the feeling of sunlight okay that's the lighting category and then I like the moody feeling so I like mood and I like leading lines pattern composition background they are all related to leading lines and I like hair flips so movement hair flip and I like vibrance color of flowers uh, so I, I, I like props and tones with the vibrant uh, colors so my consideration uh, before I post on my feed so basically right now I'm talking about how to create your um, identity right so you based on the list you choose uh, at least two or three elements that uh, you need to have in one photo so for example um, in this uh, blue circle included at least two two or three elements that have to be considered for your next post or um, for your future post so lighting uh, like if you can ask yourself does does my picture has light uh, less sunlight uh, in the back or from the front also no matter it, it, it just have a nice lighting element that is pretty um, outstanding lighting element and then mood uh, does the model is uh, moody enough uh, for for this post or uh, and then composition like does the composition create a strong uh, influence on the viewer like leading the lines to the uh, for the viewers so you uh, this is my consideration for each post I have to think about how many elements in this picture does this satisfy that, uh, my preference so I just ask myself these two questions and then I post it so next I am gonna go through uh, about seven pictures uh, and then go through each er like analyze analyze each of my pictures with you so this is the first picture I I post uh, most uh, recently just uh, yesterday with uh, Sierra and the, in this picture I have uh, mood the the mood of the uh, portrait and props props is the lace uh, using the lace to create a shadow and lighting the sunlight and shadow so lighting and pattern is the sunlight and the pattern is the pattern on her face and the composition uh, usually composition is just uh, how I position the eyes so that is on the top third area around the top third area of the eyes and the tones the tone is the uh, kind of like the skin tone and the overall um, lighting tone of the portrait and this one also with uh, Victoria so I have bokeh in this one I have hair flip the movement in this one so hair flip and movement usually go together and I have tones uh, tones usually is because of my visco cam edit and the classic chrome uh, color base from the Fuji film and composition also so basically composition is the basic uh, foundation of all my picture because I want a good foundation of composition like a good frame from all of my post and it has a mood also kind of like um, you cannot see the face but you can feel the mood of the portrait the lighting is the light from the back and this one also this one has less element but it it's at least three so I can post it so I just ask myself every time okay does it satisfy my preference it has bokeh nice bokeh in the in this one the bokeh is more obvious and then more stand light stands out more and the lighting it has soft light on her face uh, the tone nice uh, like a, a little bit of pink tone because it was uh, right after the sunset 
hours and the mood is happy mood you don't have to have a uh, like sad mood happy mood uh, can work for me also so next one so this one is the composition the composition I, I like the composition of the sunglasses and the pattern of the background so pattern composition lighting the um, she's under the shadow has a soft light on the face tones like the tone of her outfit the orange tone uh, matches the glass glasses uh, tone and the background of the tennis court and this one also I, I have mostly lighting composition tones mood and background background is a nice light uh, roses flowers uh, the tone in this one and the lighting is more uh, like stands out more for this and this one I have the um, light uh, sorry lighting lighting is kind of uh, under the shadow also props uh, I use the sunflower and uh, since the mood the mood of the portrait this one has uh, stands out more so this, in this one props mood and tone they th those are the three more obvious one in this post and next one so this one is the mood also is a happy mood very happy vibes is a very good vibes and um, it has a nice bokeh in the back so mood bokeh and tone for me in this one of course those are like um, the composition lighting a little bit of background bokeh in the back so next one so this one I have the sunflower in the back so background is very strong in this one hair flip and the mood also so Elizabeth has a nice uh, mood when doing the hair flip and movement and tone also so this one uh, I have aerials uh, with the flowers the flower has nice props in it the element of props and it has a mood and tones for this one so as you can see the pattern it just keep continuing uh, I have basically some consistent pattern um, of elements in here that uh, composition tones in most of the picture or background composition tone background bokeh yeah so bokeh composition tone so all these picture they have a similar element because of my earlier uh, message let me go back to a couple of the previous one because of my previous uh, brainstorming I have my own uh, preference because you can create your own preference statements that uh, what do you like and then stick with your future posts uh, on the uh, consideration before you post a picture so um, this that's uh, how I did it so what what you can do right now what you can do to start your create your unique style first thing analyze your current feed um, just like what I did right here just uh, open your feed the, your current just your current photos and then write down the elements next to your photo so you can just write it down right analyze it mm, this one I'm pretty strong on the composition and the mood so you can just write down those two elements or you can just use these icons uh, just like me just create some icons in the word document and then just like um, next just analyze couple of the picture in your feed first because I want you to just to analyze it in order to do it in the future because once you analyze it in your mind you're pretty um, it's kind of like practice right and then in your mind you know okay this one has bokeh element and then that one has uh, pa pattern background or that one has lighting and then that one has mood so once you recognize a certain like style you can create your own combination and ask yourself do the photo of the elements related to this photo satisfy my preferences so does it satisfy my initial brainstorming statement of the preference like you can just keep a paper in front of your uh, laptop or something and then just do check just do a checklist uh, does it satisfy those uh, statements and 
On your next photo shoot, just focus at least two of your preferred elements. You can just choose uh, composition and mood. So I, I, in order to help you, I just categorize these uh, elements also from the level standpoint. Because um, from the level one, I feel like so these are just my example how how you can start. So for for beginner, you can start from the level one because these are the very basic uh, photography uh, elements composition you need almost in every of your picture to be have a nice composition so first uh, if you want to practice just focus on composition lighting and background because if you focus on these three that that will create a very strong foundation to uh, in my opinion so if every of your posts that follows the level one composition lighting and background these three you can you can choose another two also you don't have to do it like this i'm doing this as an example as a level one because i'm con i think these three things are very important to understand lighting to understand composition and your environment the background your environment and once you get uh, very familiar with that you can add some elements on the level two or um, even level three so level two you can add some and uh, like i ask the model to be more mood moodier and then um, consider more bokeh in your photograph and then consider a different tone uh, on top of the level one so uh, basically you are adding instead of three elements your photos should be have more than three elements just like what i have uh, most of my photo has uh, around five to six elements so this is just to help you how do you build up your own unique style so first of all you choose the basic three elements in the bottom then just add on it just add add on each each level from the top and my last level um it's kind of like the top one and usually it's harder to uh, create because the movement it is harder to create a same movement if you have certain movement it's hard to reproduce those movement because it's very unique so and props also hair flip and pattern those those are my consideration of level three you can add them later on but the first things uh, you need to focus on the uh, bottom layer and to be more focused uh, and consistent so hope hopefully this uh, will help and this uh, this slideshow and presentation will help you out and thank you so much for all the support in my instagram and youtube channel uh, i will have more video and behind the scene video coming out also thank you so much for watching see you later bye